How to Get Married in the Philippines. So I'm often asked, how, how do you marry a Filipino? Um, what are the documents required and all that kind of stuff? So I think what I'll do is I'll walk you through a few of the steps um, that are necessary in order to get married in the Philippines. Um, of course, uh, it got, I guess it goes without saying that you need to have a, 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 a girlfriend, right? A fiance. But assuming that you do, and um, I'll walk you through uh, what happened in my case. So as a, a foreigner, you will need to have um, what in the U.S. we call an affidavit in lieu of um, uh, legal capacity to marry. And it's a, basically a, a document from your home country that says that you are free to marry. Um, when, I, when I did this, I took uh, my divorce papers. Um, I got certified copies from the courthouse uh, in my county here. And I took those with me and I had to go appear before a consular officer. Um, if you're in Cebu, there's a, a U.S. consulate at the Waterfront Hotel. So I went there. Uh, if you're not in Cebu, you either need to go to Cebu or to uh, the U.S. Embassy in uh, Manila. Either, either place you can get it. I believe in Manila... You may need to get a um, make an appointment in advance. So uh, check the website of the U.S. Embassy in Manila and verify that that is indeed the case. OK, <clears throat> so I had to get this affidavit from the um, embassy uh, from the United States government, from the State Department consular office in Cebu. Um, then the second thing you'll need are Senomars. For both people, for her and for you. Um, I did this in advance by sending a letter uh, to Vivian and she um, giving her permission to request a Cinemar, um on for me uh, in advance because it takes about 30 days or so for the Philippine Statistics Office to uh, process that paperwork and come back with the certificate. So that's something you can do in advance. Um, the affidavit, I believe you need to get that while you're there. You need to appear in person at the uh, embassy or the consular office. So then after you have those documents, you need to go to the local municipality. In our case, this was Ming Lanilia, So we went to Municipal Hall and um, get apply for a marriage license. After you um, apply for the marriage license, then you have to wait 10 days. I think that's some kind of legal requirement, I guess, so they can post that, hey, you know, so-and-so is getting married, um, and then make sure there are no objections to that. Uh, somebody coming back and say, hey, you know, uh, she was uh, my wife or whatever. Um, so uh, we have to wait 10 days. Now that's 10 business days, so basically two weeks. So if you're planning to go on a two week trip, uh, I would extend it a little bit longer. Uh, for me, I stayed about close to 30 days um, for that trip, three weeks plus a few <clears throat> uh, when I got married. So uh, do plan on that. Um, after you receive, now in the meantime, you're gonna need to make arrangements. If you're gonna have <clears throat> if you're going to have a uh, marriage in the in the church, then you're going to have additional requirements because the church may require that you attend a, sem a seminar, a seminar, um, uh, pre-marriage seminar, um, that kind of stuff. So uh, you may have to do all that if you're getting married in a church. We got married. Um, a judge at the uh, courthouse in Ming Lanilia married us. And so that doesn't take very long. You just meet with the judge and uh, set up a time uh, for the wedding and let everybody know about it. Um, Philippine weddings are a big deal. Um, we had a lot of catering and a nice place. Fortunately, uh, 
Vivian's niece had a nice place and uh, we set it up there. Uh, plan on putting on a, a big deal. Uh, it's going to cost you a few pesos. <coughs> um, but yeah, it's a pretty big event. So it's not difficult. It does take time. Everything in the Philippines takes time. To be honest with you, you got to travel to different offices and get different documents and make copies and all kinds of things like that. Um, you may have to uh, grease a few palms along the way also. Um, it's not expensive, but it is uh, time consuming. So anyway, guys, plan on that. Um, I hope this helps you. Uh, up there somewhere is going to be my ugly mug. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you join me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.